again, Pastor Kibuloy is a no-show uh, in this hearing. It is our obligation under the rules that we should cite him for contempt to compel him to appear in this committee, Mr. Chair. We uh, apologize for taxing the patience of the committee. We again humbly appeal for due process in this case, Your Honor. I don't know what to say to Mr. Topazio. He was hired by uh, uh, Pastor Kiboloy as a legal counsel. It's his job to delay this uh, contempt. Alam naman natin, uh, Atty. Topacio, kahit na sa'yo, naniniwala ba kayong sisipot si Pastor Kibuloy? These are just delaying tactics. Perhaps the committee would rather err on the side of constitutional rights rather than expediency. There's a motion. Duly seconded. Any objections? The chair hearing no objections. On a unanimous vote, the Honorable Pastor Kiboloy is cited for contempt. Just shows that he has no respect for this committee. It just shows that uh, he acts like God. He acts with impunity. He takes this hearing for granted. Ipinagwawalang balahala niya, importante ho siya dito. So in this case, Mr. Chair, okay. kahit na mag-hearing pa tayo ng dalawampung beses, kahit na dalawampung beses natin imbitahin si Pastor Kibuloy, it is very clear that he has no intention whatsoever of appearing in this committee. Therefore, Mr. Chair, under our rules, it is our obligation to show these uh, uh, people to take uh, this committee for granted the sanctions that could be meted under our house rules. Therefore, Mr. Chair, I move to cite for contempt Pastor Kibuloy on the grounds which I have stated. So move, Mr. Chair. The same motion by the Honorable uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, the Honorable... Uh, 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 we the indulgence of the... Good Congressman Pimentel, with regards to this motion, I have, I have nothing against it, but uh, it's just proper message, siguro na, we might uh, ask the representative of Kibuloy, then we will rule on that okay. particular motion. Okay, okay. with the, uh, the request of uh, the Honorable uh, Paduano, uh, the uh, Honorable uh, Pimentel will... Uh, uh, Defer and hold it up. I yield to the request. Yes. And uh, the Honorable uh, Attorney Topacio, magandang uh, hapon po sa inyo. Uh, magandang hapon po, uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honors. Uh, may I be recognized, Your Honor? Yes, you are. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, with respect to the motion and with all due respect, uh, we believe we have provided legal justification for the non-presence of uh, Pastor Apollo Kibaloy in our letter to the committee, Your Honor, uh, wherein the gist of it states that uh, based on the previous hearings of this honorable committee, uh, we have an idea of uh, the information being required. And uh, we have stated in this letter, Your Honors, very respectfully, that Pastor Kibaloy for around four years now has had no a hand whatsoever in the running of SMNI, whose franchise is under consideration, Your Honor. Instead, to show our good faith and our due respect to this honorable committee and to show that we are not evading uh, the uh, subpoena, Your Honors, we uh, have uh, brought with us three persons who are in the best position, more than Pastor Kibuloy, and who have been... Uh, uh, the ones active since 2022 in the affairs of the kingdom of Jesus Christ, uh, which uh, are uh, the current executive pastor of the KJOC and his uh, a top staff, attorney Eunice Ambrosio and Maria Norfeli Marimon, your honors. So uh, with respect to the kingdom, they are the ones who, have, who possess the necessary competence to answer whatever questions this honorable committee may throw at them, Your Honors. 
Okay. Mr. Chair, we understand uh, the explanation of Attorney Topacio, but the fact still remains that uh, Pastor Keboloy has not appeared in this committee. You are presenting actually three persons that you have just mentioned to explain whatever questions or whatever uh, clarifications are needed. As you have stated, they are well versed uh, with regards to the operations of Swarasug. But the matter at hand, Mr. Chair, I believe, is still remains is a non appearance of Pastor Kiboloy. Of course, Mr. Chair, we will entertain or uh, we will ask questions to your uh, substitute uh, resource persons. But, uh, Mr. Chair, I still insist. Uh, my uh, motion, my earlier motion, I again reiterate, I move to cite for contempt Pastor Kiboloy, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, the Honorable Pimentel. Attorney uh, Topacio. Your Honor, uh, we will always uh, submit to the discretion of the committee uh, with just the very respectful and gentle reminder, Your Honors, that in the uh, very recent case of Ong versus Senate Blue Ribbon Committee, the Supreme Court has ruled that before any person is uh, held in contempt of the uh, a house or any committee thereof, he must be given due process, meaning a chance to explain, Your Honor. Uh, we are just invoking uh, this uh, right on behalf of Pastor Ibiloy uh, because our Constitution itself states that the rights of persons invited to congressional hearings should be respected, Your Honor. That is all that we ask, Your thank, Honor. Nothing thank, else. Thank, thank you, Attorney Topacio. Just for the information of everyone, uh, Pastor Kibulo has been invited as far back as December. Yeah. Several invitations has been uh, given to him, and uh, uh, he has not appeared, which prompted the Honorable Pimentel to uh, sub he, sub uh, he filed a uh, motion for, uh, for him to submit that for us to subpoena Pastor Kibuloy because of his um, non-appearance in previous hearings. So I think as far as due process is concerned, we have complied with As a matter of fact, because of his absence, I'm so familiar already with Attorney Mark Tolentino. Okay? And uh, I'm, all, of course, the idol of everyone, the guy that invented the rules of, of the house, uh, the Honorable Rory Exas. Uh, Suplico, who is also here, who I used to read in the newspapers when I was in elementary. Okay, and after now, it's an honor to uh, to see him in our uh, hearings. It's a, that's why, uh, po, uh, as far as pagiging due process, matter of fact, po, eh, marami pong mga katanungan, marami pong hindi ulo masagot, at lagi po na sabi hindi na kaya sa kuteno. And which really, I think, mahaba naman po yung proseso na binigay po namin para po sa kanyang uh, pagpunta ko dito. At kami naman po ay uh, 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 kung baka nun na-extend na po namin. As a matter of fact, eh, naubos na po lahat ang mga pwedeng maitanong dahil naitanong sa dami pong hearings na hinandak na po ng um, committee at or ni uh, Topasso. At, uh, at uh, and this can be, I think, at or ni Suplico, would attest to this, no? Na talagang uh, we were very patient at lahat po ng pamamaraan ay binigay po namin sa kanila. So, maraming salamat at rin ito, Paso. Wala na po kayong i-manifest. May tanong lang po ko. Alam ko, okay. pwede po ba ako magtanong? Uh, of course, you're, ako, you're the chairman. Siyempre. <laughs> kasi ho, pinadala po namin yung Sapina uh, February 20, no? At uh, ito ay publicized naman. At uh, bakit po sa March 11 lang po kayo nagpadala ng sulat? At nauna po ho ang media kasi tumatawag po sa akin ang media at ang sabi ko sa kanila, hindi ko po pwede sigutin yan dahil wala po akong natanggap na sulat. True enough, si Rekoy Records, natanggap po namin yung sulat nyo kahapon, okay. March 11. Tapos may, uh, may amended letter at March 12 today, kumarap po yung isang abogado ninyo. So, bakit, why did it take you so long? to write us that letter? Uh, kasi po, uh, hindi po ako involved, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, doon sa previous uh, mga hearings. So, nireview ko pa po yung uh, video ng mga hearings para ma, uh, mapagtanto ko po 
kung ano yung mga maaring itanong based on the trend at uh, yun nga po coupled with the fact that uh, Pastor Kibuloy has been uh, out of the uh, uh, day-to-day or even the general operations of uh, SMNI or Swarasu Your Honor because uh, he has decided to concentrate on purely spiritual matters ay lubiham po kami. Yung unang liham po kasi pasensya na po kayo we meant no disrespect uh, to the committee Mr. Chair. Kanya lang Bag, noong ibibigay na po namin dito, napansin po namin may typographical errors lang naman po, kaya ni-revise po namin. Which was received today. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Typographical errors so, lang po. Ang so that's why na. the first letter we received March 11th, the second letter we received today Opo. at the day of the hearing. Opo. May, yes. Pero it, it's basically the same, Your Honor. We did not want to spring any surprise. It's just a typographical error, Your yes. Honor. Thank we, you very We apologize because of the uh, a tight schedule of this representation. We profoundly apologize to the committee and to the chair. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Honor. Before I continue, the chair will recognize the Deputy Speaker, the Honorable uh, David uh, J.J. Uh, Suarez. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, the Honorable uh, Franz Pomarin is uh, recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Address lang pong question kay Attorney Tupasio. Um, I'm quite baffled no, dahil um, he mentioned that uh, kaya hindi pupunta dahil wala siya dun sa day-to-day -day activity, yung uh, pag, uh, pag, pag, papatakbo ng S7I, uh, hindi niya alam. In fact, there are three uh, resource speakers that can answer that. My main question lang here, kung gano'n man pala, may invitation siya, bakit ayaw niyang pumunta? Then, let him explain to us kung ano talaga ang role niya dun sa s And aside from that, probably there are still other questions that can be raised there. Eh. Yun lang naman ang quite uh, baffling on my part na bakit ayaw niyang pumunta. Na kung confident naman siya na he has no idea how yung s operates day-to-day -day basis. Yun lang po, Mr. Chairman. May I uh, respond, Mr. Chair? Uh, actually po, uh... At huwag niyo na pong sisihin si Pastor, ako na pong sisihin niyo uh, uh, Honorable Franz Pumarin sapagkat ako po yung nagpayo sa kanya. While uh, the uh, details of the advice uh, may be covered by lawyer-client privilege, ako po yung sabi kay Pastor na since ang uh, nakikita ko po sa trend ay tungkol naman sa uh, alleged violations ng uh, frankisa ng SMNI, ay since wala naman po kayong kinalaman at ang, ang inyong titulo na honorary chairman ay purely honorific as the name suggests, sabi ko, mag, uh, upang hindi naman, uh, uh, paipakita naman natin na ginagalang po natin yung pro uh, proseso ng uh, kagalang-galang na kumiting ito, ay tayo na po magdala ng mga tao na maaaring makasagot dun sa mga yon. Ngayon po, uh, I want to make, I, I want to take this opportunity with the kind indulgence of my congressman in Paranaque, uh, the chair, uh, na, uh, kung mamarapating nyo lamang naman po, uh, kami po ay uh, magalang na humihiling na baka naman po uh, uh, mga uh, kagalang-galang na uh, kinatawan na bigyan po na naman kami. Kahit konting panahon lang po na magpaliwanag at baka naman po uh, makausap po rin siya at baka naman po uh, ma uh, makita niya na baka naman pwede siyang dumating sa susunod hindi kanti konting ah uh, ay um, konting uh, pagkakataon lamang kung uh, rest assured that we will be prompt in our response to Mr. Chair and members of the honorable committee in fact i'm scheduled to meet with him uh tomorrow your honors uh if i may uh, inform this honorable committee and i will uh, uh, advise him accordingly uh, honorable pumarin please Th thank you uh, attorney tabasho uh, mr chairman just for the record yes. um nakailan invitation na ba tayo kay uh, tatlo po. tatlo tatlong invitation na po tayo uh, before we recognize the next uh, interpreter the chair recognizes the Honorable Arlene Prosas. Welcome um, to the committee hearing. And the... Who else is here? The Honorable Inodi is here. Welcome to the hearing. Mr. Sir. Chair. The Honorable Pimentel. We are just prolonging this issue. We know very well that kahit na ano pang sabihin ni Atty. Topazio, he was hired by... Uh, uh, Pastor Kiboloy as a legal counsel, it's his job 
to delay this uh, contempt. Alam naman natin, uh, Atty. Topacio, kahit na sa'yo, naniniwala ba kayong sisipot si Pastor Kibuloy? These are just delaying tactics. Even though na magiring na naman tayo next, iba na namang rason ng lila ibibigay. Magiring na naman tayo ikapitong hearing, ibang rason na naman. When will this be concluded? As I've said, Mr. Chair, it is incumbent upon this committee. It is our obligation under the rules that we should cite him for contempt to compel him to appear in this committee, Mr. Chair. Again, on my second, uh, actually on my third um, uh, reiteration, Mr. Chair, my motion still stands. Thank you. Uh, just a point of just a point of clarification on the statements made by uh, uh attorney Tapasho. by the way congratulations on your movie <laughs> thank you sir you mentioned that uh, you're off to see the good pastor tomorrow uh, yes uh, your honor so that confirms that he's still in the philippines yes of course your honor he's okay. not going anywhere your honor oh, kasi may mga balita na nagibang bansa na daw siya at uh... Ay, di po. Uh, Pagpapakuha po ako ng litrato at ipa-viber ko po sa mga members ng committee. I trust you, Attorney. Uh, thank you po. I appreciate so, that, sir. You lang, I just wanted to reiterate, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, you know, we've been having this hearing since December of last year. November. Uh, November of last year. So, long playing album na po ito kasi November, December, January, February, March, I think. This can already be part of the Guinness Book of World Records as one of the longest hearings. This just goes to show um, the leniency and the patience uh, the Committee on Franchise has afforded to SMNI, to um, Suarezu, when it comes to complying with requests that have been forwarded to you. So... Um, on his proper time, Mr. Chair, I would uh, second the motion of Congressman Pimenta. Uh, the Legal Council of uh, of uh, Pastor Kibuloy is asking for a reconsideration. Is that correct? Uh, we are asking for uh, um, time to explain, Your Honor, because uh, as uh, the rules uh, state, uh, the failure to appear must be without legal justification. So we are willing in, in whatever time allotted to us, Your Honors, so as to obviate any suspicion that uh, this representation is delaying. Actually, ayoko nga pong ma-delay. May lakad po kami nakaprot ng visis ko next week eh. Pero uh, kung kinakailangan po, ay uh, 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 isakripisyo po natin yon. Ngunit, uh, I also understand the misgivings of the Honorable Johnny Pimentel. That indeed, uh, these uh, uh, hearings have been going on for quite some time. But ang akin lamang po, uh, Your Honor, is uh, perhaps the committee would rather err on the side of constitutional rights rather than expediency. Yun lang lamang po ang aking uh, humble appeal sa, uh, sa chair at saka sa mga miyembro ng committee ito. Salamat po. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, actually, uh, <clears throat> question of the appeal of uh, the lawyer. Pwede naman po, pero pwede naman po na bigyan, lagyan natin ng kolotilya that uh, will cite uh, Pastor Kibulo in contempt. But it will be lifted depending on the cooperation of Pastor Kibuloy because we have done that for the past several contempt orders. But still, Pastor Kibuloy, Kibuloy will be cited in contempt in today's hearing we will always bow, as I said, uh, Your Honor, to the discretion of the Honorable Committee, of course, subject to my uh, humble reiteration of our appeal, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Tapasio, the Chair recognizes. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, uh, before I uh, call the next interpreter, the Chair uh, rec recognizes the, um, the presence of Juan Carlos Arjo Ataide of the 1st District of Quezon City. Welcome. Uh, Kong Ataide and the, our deputy uh, speaker, the Christine Sigson Mihan of the 3rd District of Ilocos. Welcome up to this uh, hearing. The Honorable uh, uh, Jude Asidres. Ah, the Honorable. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, France and so, Honorable Jude. 
hindi na po natin papakinggan yung ano no, yung alibay ni Attorney Topacio. Nasabi na po pero marami na pong ano no, marami na pong pronouncement si Pastor Kibuloy in media na hindi talaga siya dadalo sa anumang mga hearings sa ano no, sa sa Kongreso. So narin, narinig na po natin yun. Kaya tama po ang ating kulig na parang nagde-delay na lang, ah, magde-delay na lang yung ginagawa. Ah, tapos mahalaga po yung mga question kasi with the, with the with the development ngayon, Mr. Chair, di ba? Yung pinapasa niya, yung stake niya sa KOJ kay dating Presidente Duterte. So kailangan nating malaman yun kasi may kinalaman sa ownership which is our topic nun sa SMNI. Kaya kailangan niya talagang pumunta rito at hindi pwede yung sinasabing tatlo na magsasalita for him. Kaya kailangan niya umapir dito, Mr. Chair. Thank you. The Honorable Judah Cedre of Tingog Partilist. Mr. Chair, uh... I would tend to agree with Mr. Topacio if this were not if this were a blue ribbon committee hearing. Unfortunately, this is a committee hearing that centers on the continuance of a privilege of a franchise given to SMNI. And the, but the testimony of Pastor Apollo Kibuloy, given being part of the original franchise is material to the discussion. And I think uh, this is no longer a question of rights, Mr. Chair. This is a question of duty that by accepting the granted privilege, SMNI is compelled to carry out. That includes Pastor Apollo Kiboloy being one of the grantees in the earlier franchises given to uh, SMNI. And therefore, I, I will join the Honorable Suarez in seconding the motion of the Honorable Pimentel, Mr. Chair. Honorable Top Attorney Topash. We'll pray on that. Uh, levity aside, uh, levity aside, Your Honors, uh, with all due respect to the good uh, uh, Congressman Asidre, the uh, ruling of the uh, a Supreme Court applies to all hearings, either of the Senate or of the House of Representatives. Secondly, uh, with respect to the uh, appoint of uh, uh, the good Congresswoman Franz Castro, the same is well taken, actually, Your Honors. As in fact, in the case of uh, Senate versus Ermita, uh, the Supreme Court said that the questions and the proposed legislation should be attached to the subpoena. The proposed legislation is already public, so uh, that is out there, uh, Your Honors. But perhaps, uh, Representative Castro, if we could be furnished proposed questions, and if uh, these questions cannot be answered by uh, the three representatives here, uh, uh, and we are invoking this uh, uh, with all due respect, based on the doctrine of uh, Senate versus Armita, then uh, we can determine, and then, well, uh, Your Honors, if the legal justification provided by Pastor Kiboloy uh, is not sufficient in the eyes of this committee, then, of course, it may proceed according to its rules. But in the meantime, again, uh, we, uh, we uh, apologize for taxing the patience of the committee. We, again, humbly appeal for due process in this case, Your Honors. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Deman, you very Deman. much. Uh, Deman. Deman. The, the Honorable uh, Karap. Anyway, binuksa na rin yan ni Atorne Topacio. Atorne Topacio. Anyway, yes, iba ko saying circumstances with regards to Senate and Ong. Kasi si Ong dumaloy. He was the, not given due process. Etong case ni Pastor Kebuloy, hindi siya dumalo. He disrespect this committee. And yung question of uh, legal excuse by attending this committee, okay, I will grant it to you, attorney. I will grant it to you. But hindi ko sinasabi na tama ka. But we can also impose letter F and your interference. We can impose uh, and your interference, not letter A. Well, Your Honor, as I said, we will always okay. submit. And, uh, kaya nga eh, kasi, kasi you, you defended it with uh, our colleague here. Yes, Ayaw nga pag-usapan dapat eh. Sabi ko, gusto ko pag-usapan natin sa gilid eh, pati yung balag. <laughs> kasi, <laughs> kasi you invoke Ong in which the circumstances is different. Because Ong attended the hearing. Eh, magkaiba yun, attorney, di ba? That's why I raised... That's why, attorney, uh, we will end this uh, debate 
with regards to your appeal, ako nga, sabi ko nga eh, Opo. pwede naman yung reconsideration eh. Contempt Opo. and fifteen of the contempt, it all depends on the actions of Pastor Kibuloy. Di ba? If he, if he cooperates with this committee, then so good. We can lift that, you know, that contempt. But if you will invoke those jurisprudence, ay, wala tayong... Eh, eh, yun na nga yung ong eh. Yes, Your Honor. Iba yung interpretation. That is why, I, I, I say, as I said, Your Honor, we submit always to the discretion of the committee. And there is really no... Uh, um, desire on the part of this representation to debate. We're just uh, stating what we feel to be the rights of my client as it is my duty and obligation as his lawyer, Your Honor. Uh, we uh, have no quarrel with the committee. As I've said, the committee will do what it has to do under the rules. We just want to make this humble appeal, Your Honors. That is all. Uh, Chairman, under our tradition, we allow, if the chair, the committee allows, no, but well, in fact, uh, as of now, we're discussing with regards to the inquiry in aid of legislation. Now, sabi ko, we're, ito pa siya, we're so lenient because this is the first time that you attended this hearing and supposedly you said to take in your oath because, because speaking for and behalf of the invited resource person. Yes, I, I will. And, well, and well, in fact, again, if the chairman will not allow you to speak for and behalf of Pastor Kibuloy, you cannot speak, and you cannot again. It's a, again if you uh, it's a debate. If you want again that you process of uh, being here in this committee, eh, sabi ko nga, and under our tradition, our internal rules, we allow lawyers to speak if the chair will allow you to speak. I totally and agree with you, Your Honor. And second, and second, sabi ko nga, napakalinyan pa namin because supposedly before speaking, you have you should have taken your oath. Yes, I, I totally agree with you, Your uh, Honor. There you, is Mr. no Chairman. debate, Your Honor. Just to clarify the query of uh, yes. uh, our colleague. Thank I you. totally agree. And uh, I am very thankful for uh, this committee for its leniency, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Chair. So, uh, Mr. Mr. Chair, before we proceed. We have uh, already discussed this thoroughly. Lumalayo na po tayo eh. Anyway. Uh, uh, ang motion ko, iba na yung mga tanong. May legal counsel pa. Let us first act on my motion. Yes. We are already almost one hour, but we have not yet acted on my motion. Thank you very much, Honorable uh, Pimentel. I just wanted to give everyone a chance to speak before a vote is taken on the uh, motion to, uh, of Patep. And we just like to make it clear that just to show you, Attorney, as uh, we have seen since November, this has always been the atmosphere. We gave everyone the chance to speak, especially on the side of... Uh, KOGJC, Attorney Mark, Attorney Rolex uh, was given the chance to speak. So, kung airtime lang po ang pag-usapan, mas marami po kayo airtime kesa po. No? At kami po ay, uh, kasi yun po talaga naging porisiyo. We want to ferret out the truth. Ang problema, may mga talong talaga na lagi pong sagot sa amin, hindi po kaya sagutin. Kaya po, nag-motion po si uh, Congressman Pimentel. As a matter of fact, just to prove our point, it took me it, three weeks. We gave you three weeks for him to appear. We didn't give you one week. We didn't give you two weeks. We gave you more than three weeks for him to appear. No, uh, From the time that uh, the last series, usually one week lang huyan, pinapa-appear na po namin. Ito ho, tatlo linggo ho, binigay ng committee. And even up, up to now, you can see the ini-entertain po namin kayo. No? Uh, ngayon, na lang ho kayo nag-appear. Eh, nandito po at nakikipag uh, pinapakinggan ho namin yung siya sabi niyo. Maraming so, salamat po. As far as due process concerned, paragay ko niyo naman, eh, hindi niyo na po pwedeng we did not fall short as far as the uh, due process process concerned. And on section um, 13, yes, uh, we were allowing you to speak and counsel is allowed under the rules as long as it's allowed by uh, uh, the committee. Uh, at uh, maraming salamat at kayo na hong pangatlong may tanong lang po pala ako kayo po yes, pangatlong sure. abogado Atty. Rolex Atty. Mark kayo na po uh, at <laughs> kayo po ba yung abogado lang hindi po kayo director ng KOJC <laughs> hindi po hindi po actually I became the general counsel your honor of uh, Pastor Kibuloy back in 2021 if memory serves your honor okay so this is not my first time to lawyer 
for uh, Pastor Kibuloy. And uh, of course, again, uh, Mr. Chair, we are grateful for the opportunity. That's why you still get my vote in 2025. Oh, thank you very much, Attorney Topasio. <laughs> Mr. Chair. Uh, the Honorable Gutierrez is recognized. Uh, before, yeah. we will have to go on a vote soon. No? I'll just ask yes. Attorney Gutierrez, the proponent of the bill. No? Yes. Attorney uh, Gutierrez. Mr. Chair, just yeah. to add for to the point, no? just to for the consideration of the body, because uh, I agree with what uh, Congressman Pimentel mentioned that uh, the contempt order that we are considering is based could be based on sole absence alone. However, I would just like to add for our consideration as a body that uh, there are still material questions as to 2019, 2020, and 2021, Correct. which I believe would warrant the attendance. Now, his choice not to attend on the presupposed trend that they already know what we would ask, I would have to share my... Uh, Skepticism, po, no? because precisely, as I mentioned, we still have material questions during the duration of his being executive pastor. So something lang po for the body to consider. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Mr. Chair. Yes, the Honorable Arlene process. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, um, isa po kasi ako sa mga nag-request, di ba? Na, ano, so rejoinder lang po kay, sa uh, issue ng contempt. Uh, Mr. Chair, wag kayo pumayag na by substitution Hindi naman talaga natin ginagawa yan, Mr. Chair. It has not been our ano, no, uh, procedure ng mga nakaraan. Kaya gusto ko lang sabihin, Mr. Chair, no, um, na itong ano, no, uh, sulat na pinadala sa committee hinggil sa ating sabina, uh, si Mr. Marlon Acobo, executive pastor daw ng Kingdom of Jesus Christ, ang um, siyang sasagot. Mr. Chair, nung nag-usap naman tayo last time dito, sinabi natin, hindi talaga yon kakayanin sagutin ng mga representatives na pinadala. So, Mr. Chair, again, uh, I will join our DS sa kanyang, um, sa kanyang um, uh, uh, motion. And Mr. Chair, Again, maraming salamat kay Honorable Johnny Pimentel for uh, um, for uh, again, oh, again motioning for the contempt of Pastor Apollo Kibuloy. Thank you very much, uh, the Honorable uh, Arlene uh, Brosas. Uh, the parliamentary status is that there is a motion by the Honorable. Uh, Johnny Pimentel, duly seconded by the Honorable J.J. Suarez, the Honorable uh, Jude Sidre, the Honorable uh, Franz Castro, and the Honorable Arlene uh, Brosses, and of course, our uh, Deputy, uh, Senior Deputy Speaker, the Honorable Don Gonzalez. Uh, that being the case, there is a motion, duly seconded, any objections? The chair hearing no objections on a unanimous vote. The Honorable Pastor Kibuloy is cited for contempt. 